Today, white trap test. Three white traps, two red traps. Let's see if the white actually catches better in cold weather. Welcome back, y'all. Thanks for watching Jimmy's and Sooks. This is Brad. We're gonna go try the white traps out again today. So we've got three white ones and then we got the two red ones as the controls. Let's see how we do. All right, y'all, let's go get those crabs. Staying hopeful on these white ones. That's all you can do. Oof. One crab, two crabs. Two crabs, that's it. Well, by George, I'm thinking it might be the white traps. Just don't work that well. Two crabs. Okay, this one sits probably around 10 feet. It's a solid, solid water depth. I feel like this is not where I had my trap set. This is a white one. One crab, two crabs, three crabs that are all babies. Except for that one maybe is keepable. One keeper, three babies. Like baby babies, very, very small babies. I'm not even sure this is really a keeper to be honest. One crab, pretty pitsy, pretty pitsy, sitting probably around eight feet I think, not crazy deep but good water depth, not seeing anything in here, not really, flounder, two, three, four crabs. All right. Let's see what we get here on this. Let's see what we got. This is about seven or eight feet of water. White trap. And three crabs. Three crabs, four crabs. Better than the last one. Not bad. Not bad at all. We can keep three of them. I gotta throw one back for sure. That's a good trap. Not a great trap, but a good trap. Put it back out. About seven feet of water on this one. Just a couple crabs. Man, it is quiet all around. Lots of gunk and junk in the water too. Not many crabs though. All right, pretty quiet. We got three crabs. Two of them are, I guess, keepers. One definitely has to go back. It's a little extra crab pots on this river here, but nothing crazy. Should still be able to catch. So we'll dump these and go on to the next. Load it back up with some bait. Well, that will wrap things up here today. So trip one of our white trap test number two did not go very well um actually i do think the white traps were probably one of the ones that caught the best so shocker there but just the crabbing is not good um we'll come back we'll test these again i think i'm gonna have them sit for three or four days all loaded with chicken um hoping for you know better success next time
We are testing the white traps again today. Stay tuned, let's see if they catch better than any other colors out there. Okay, I think this is a white one. Praying for something good today. Has not been good, just kind of in general. All around. Let's pull this up. White one, I can see it. I'm sure the crabs can too. And what do we got here? Not bad though. One, two, three, four. I'll take four, five. And they actually look like they have some, you know, decent size to them. So we got a catfish, and then we got one, two, three, four, five. Five crabs, one's gotta go back. A little too small, but not bad. We'll get these dumped and we'll reset it. See what happens. out of there but I don't think that's gonna happen not easily you stupid or something What's wrong with you, man? Not the sharpest tool in the shed. I have no idea if we're gonna catch any crabs today, but I'll tell you what, this is just what the doctor ordered. A little fresh air, sunshine, beautiful day. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we catch them crabs. All right. So we're catching some crabs today. Got four here, five, this little baby. So I'll throw back three, keep two, but you know, not bad, making progress. I don't think that it was the trap color. I think it's just crabbing is not great. So it is what it is, but we'll get these dumped and reset, see what happens in the next trip. Let's go get the rest of them. All right, another white one. Hey, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not too shabby at all. Holy cow, I can't even believe it. Can't even believe it. Well, that's a success story right there. Could, a couple females I gotta throw back, but not bad. Not bad, go ahead, White. Go ahead, White. Pretty tiny crabs. There we go. All right, on to the next. Okay, this one here is a red trap. 
hasn't been a terrible day today. Not great by any stretch of the imagination, but not terrible. I'll take it. Hopefully the success continues. This one's probably sitting around eight feet or so. Feels heavy. A lot of gunk. A lot of gunk and a lot of crabs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not a lot, but a bunch, you know? It's not bad. I'll take that. A lot of gunk though, holy cremoly. Good gracious. That's a good one, that's a good one, that's a good one. That girl's gotta go back, but those two probably are a little too small. But we'll get them all tossed in, go through them, call them out. See what we take home. Nice trap. So, uh, Jimmy's and Sooks. Jimmy's are male crabs, which is right here. Have that narrow apron. Hopefully you guys can see that. Females are called Sooks. They're right here. So that's the name of the channel, Jimmy's and Sooks. If you didn't know. Probably around 10 or 11 feet of water. This is going to be the last white trap. Let's see what we get. Marked improvement, noticeable improvement today. Well, not great. Two crabs, but they're big. Three crabs. Three crabs, but two of them are big. One of them's got to go back. Well, one of them's big. Two of them got to go back. Let's get these dumped. Let's head on home. Tremendous improvement from the other day and the other three times. So can't beat that. Love it. Great day. Much improved over the last few days. Um, the white traps are not that bad. So, you know, don't be afraid to invest in them. Um, I definitely make my own traps. So if you guys are interested and you're in the Palm Beach County area, Martin, St. Lucie, Broward, let me know. Jimmy's and Sooks at gmail.com. Ask me some questions. I'll get you some answers. All right, y'all, we're gonna let these sit for a couple more days. We'll be back. See you next time. All right, here at the first one. Nasty day out here. I'm telling you what. I was hoping just to get a slight break in the rain, but it doesn't look like it's happening. So this one sits in a narrow part of the river, probably around seven feet, maybe eight. I can't remember if this is red or white. But we'll find out in a moment. It's a white one. And there is a couple crabs. That's a nice crab right here. Let's bait out. So we have two, three keepers. That guy, that guy's nice. All right, we'll get this dumped. And head on to the next one. Not bad. Not bad for the white.
So this one is definitely a red one. Another straightaway seven foot hole that it sits in. And uh, see what we got. Got four, four crabs on the first white trap. Only three were keepers. One was a female. Let's see what this one has going on. Well, not a whole lot, but they're good sized crabs. We got three, three nice males. I'll take that. Three number one Jimmies right here, baby. Kind of one for one right here so far. Red and white, three and three. The white had one extra female, but I think I might have left that one in there as a way to entice the other guys to come in. Tell you what, they've been crushing this bait. Crushing that bait. So far so good. Very nice. All right, so this is in a real nice hole, probably about 10 feet of water. Let's see. Let's see what we got. White trap. Let's see. Ew. Bummer. Nothing. And all the bait's gone. Well, nothing on this one, which is weird considering most of the bait is gone. For a completely empty trap, that's awfully odd. Foul play may have been involved here on this one. Alright, this one here is great water depth. Got to be about 10, 12 feet of water near a structure. It's done pretty well. This is a white trap if I remember correctly. Yep. Alright. About par for the course. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five here in this white trap. Not bad. Not too shabby at all. Not too shabby. Lots of leaves and all kinds of nonsense here right now. Lots of, I guess, runoff. Okay, get these dumped. We'll go on to our last one, which is a red one. All right, last one, this is red, so who cares? <laughs> yeah, let's see if we get anything. Probably about eight feet, maybe, maybe 10. That's a gunk. That's a big crab there. Big old crab, mating. Mating with a uh, female. That's a nice one. That's a big one. Mother nature at work right there. That's a big soft shell female too. Big soft shell female. Let's see if we can get her released. Forgot all about that guy.
That is a big male there. Big old rusty Jimmy. Females in here. Might just toss the rest of these back just to make sure that they all get back in. Are all females? All right. Try and do it real gentle so that that soft shell gets back in there. So that is going to be a big crab when she gets hard that's going to be a big crab but right now she is soft like paper um, this is what happens when they molt and a lot of these soft shell crabs are really delicacies as far as eating them you can take the insides out and batter them up fry them and they're delicious not my thing but people do love it but i mean this is uh this is what we're looking at here super large female we're gonna put her back in the water, let her get hard here. Uh, looks like she was just mating with a big male crab, so fantastic. Hopefully they got the deed done. There's the underside, that's the big wide apron, kind of more oval, whereas the males have that long, straight, narrow apron. Then you got the orange tips here on their claws. So again, huge soft shell. If I was into eating soft shells, I might want to take it, but I'm really not a big soft shell guy. So, we'll toss her back. Um, hopefully, this is a good, safe spot for her. And uh, she can get hard, but that's a nice crab there. And the thing that was mating with her, ooh, now, let me tell you, he is a big old guy. So, make some big babies, all right? Make some big babies. Uh, she's waving to me. Her <laughs> little, little dangling claw was like, see ya. All right. Well, not a bad day. There was one good keeper crab out of that crab pot that we just got. So that'll close things out. Let me pull him out, show him off. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, that is a nice one there. Try not to get snipped. All right, y'all, let's get out of here. Let's go home. Please like, please subscribe, tell a friend. Jimmy's and Sooks, we do all kinds of experiments here. We catch big crabs. I appreciate those that are already subscribed. Thanks for watching. Please uh, keep tuning in. We got some more stuff coming here, so beautiful Jimmy right here. As you can see, it's got the narrow apron. That's how you tell the male crabs. And that is a big, big crab there. Big crab. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get out of here, y'all. Peace.